Honeywell Arts and Entertainment offers art, education, and entertainment for all. Joining me today is Renan Meyer, who is the Artistic Director for Honeywell Arts Academy. Hi, Renan. Hi, it's great to be here. Thank you Welcome. For me. <laughs> We're kind of matching in our black today. <laughs> Yeah, we planned it. It's all good. <laughs> yes, well, I'm so excited that you are here to share more about this amazing organization. And so can you just give us an overview of Honeywell Arts Academy? Yeah, uh, so I'm so happy to, um, you know, be in partnership with uh, Honeywell Foundation in Wabash, Indiana. Um, uh, Honeywell Arts Academy uh, was actually an evolution of a program that formed about 16 years ago. Uh, my instrument is the double bass, oh. a really, big, really big instrument, you know, usually mm -hmm. in the back of the orchestra or in a jazz ensemble, et cetera, um, uh, even bigger than the cello, lower um, in range. Uh, and, uh, you know, basically we were welcomed into that community and started a program for uh, emerging artists that were double bass players. They didn't have to pay any money to go there. Uh, it was free, full scholarship, and we've carried on. Wow. Uh, and then during, during the pandemic, we evolved into what's known uh, worldwide now as Honeywell Arts Academy, mm -hmm. H-A-L, Honeywell Arts Academy. I have the um, the honor to be artistic director mm -hmm. of this program. Uh, and uh, we represent um, uh, pianists from around the world, uh, along with what I like to call the misfits of music. Okay. Um, well, that like pioneer music in their own way. Maybe they don't just necessarily fit in one genre or maybe they don't even just play one instrument, but they're just like really inquisitive minds. Mm. Um, my, my day job is a band that I founded 20 years ago called Time for Three. Okay. Which I play in the bass. I play bass with these two violinists in the group. Um, and already, you know, what I just said, two violins and a bass player who mm -hmm. sing, who play all these different genres of music. I mean, hopefully that sounds intriguing to people and not off-putting. No, it um, sounds very dynamic. And what a combination of strings. Like, I'm into it. Okay, tell us more. <laughs> so, you know, we never really fit anywhere in the music world. You know, we kind of had to, um, you know, pave our own roads, uh, make our own buildings, etc., um, on a metaphorical level. And uh, we wanted to create a home for those types of musicians. Um, mm -hmm. So that program is called Resonance for these, you know, any instrument, people who sing, people who play all different styles of music. Mm -hmm. uh, Soundboard is the program for pianists, these pianists that come from all over the world that okay. are extraordinary. And then there's the double bass program called Wah Bass that's been around for 16 years. Wow. Uh, this all happens in, uh, in Wabash. Mm -hmm. In, uh, in June for about three weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think the exciting thing to tell, you know, everybody in, uh, you know, Northeastern Indiana about uh, is that, um, you know, the shows take place uh, Friday nights uh, in this incredible Eagles Theater, which is in Wabash. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't checked it out. Um, it's kind of like this artist's playground because it's a five-story restored, renovated uh, historical movie theater. Oh, um, and, you know, so there are all these practice rooms in there and there's a recording studio and there's mm -hmm. an amazing theater and an upstairs for like, you know, very special events. Um, but, you know, you got to understand, you know, people coming from all over the world mm -hmm. as musicians to Wabash, Indiana for these three weeks, yes. um, give these performances and then they take away. We were here in northeastern Indiana. We, we, we played in Wabash. We had a historical movie theater that was our artist playground. It's kind of a kind of a wild ride. Yes, it sounds very exciting. And just to learn that the base of the actual musicians were bass players. That's how it started and the initial musical instrument that was supported through the academy and it being founded in 2008 really shows the longevity and how many lives and kids' lives and students have been affected through the organization. So congratulations for you all reaching, I think, what's that, 15 years now? Yeah, 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 we'll be going to the 16th year for the base program. Okay, yeah. into the 16th year. That's so incredible. So share with me more about the type of candidates that can participate in your summer program. Here's here's one of the things or a few things maybe that makes um, Honeywell Arts Academy unique. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got, you know, 
we're accepting emerging artists. Okay. What emerging artists means is, you know, you're a little beyond, you know, going to college for music, mm-hmm. um, and a little before having a career in music. You're okay. like, you're, you're somewhere in between. And it's a very important moment as a musician, as an artist, um, to develop and evolve. It's, mm-hmm. it's actually pivotal. Mm-hmm. Um, we, in addition to being full scholarship, we, we have um, a philosophy called sharing of knowledge. Mm-hmm. And what that philosophy is, is that there's not a hierarchy of one teacher and everybody else are students and they're all learning from this sort of one, you know, master teacher or whatever you want to mm-hmm. call that. Um, there's a curation process where each one of the programs has several uh, faculty mentors. And then if you're applying, you're called a fellowship scholar. So we're bridging the gap between teacher and student, and we're really all learning together, mm-hmm. kind of uh, throwing away uh, the tradition of top to bottom mm-hmm. and uh, becoming all students for a retreat uh, for a very short time, for a short time in Wabash, Indiana. Okay. Um, so, you know, I've been doing this for 16, you know, going my 16 mm-hmm. years. I, I learned so much right? <laughs> yeah. as artistic director with everybody because there's this wealth of, of knowledge. I always tell people it's like, it's my secret, you know, planned. <laughs> Get all these ideas from everyone. But the people that, that come, you know, they truly feel this way. It's like, you know, you get to share your ideas, but the best part are all of the ideas that you're getting from everyone else. I love that. That is so great. It just sounds like Honeywell is a well of knowledge and education. So thank you so much, Renan, for coming in and talking about this amazing academy and really just sharing the fabric of your experience and what people and kids can look forward to as they participate. And if you would like more information about Honeywell Arts Academy, we'll have their website listed below and we'll be right back. 